Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball. Eight box, pick your team number 12 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There it is. Saturday, the 29th. Happy Saturday, everybody. Eight box, pick your team number 12. Here's all the folks getting into the action. Ed Rem, Marlins, and Pirates. Double last spot, mo triple last spot mojo. Blue Jays as well. So thanks, everyone, for getting into this one. Really appreciate it. Let's make this happen. All right, eight boxes, four autographs per box. There you go. Good luck, everybody. There's four, and then four, a row of four in the back. Yo, Josh in the house. Josh, who has the Nationals, saying, yeah, I have pulled you a bunch of Carter Kaibooms. You need a Juan Soto in this case. All right. Good luck, man. Uh, who else is in this break? What teams do you have? Let me know. Joey's in here. Joey's got the Rockies. Colton Welker. All right, we'll look for Colton Welker. Mark Madsen predicting a massive Yankees hit. Oh, right, because you got the Yankees in the previous break. Nothing. So, of course, there has to be the big Yankees in this break. Sometimes that's how it works. I don't like it when it happens, but, but yeah, it's possible. I don't know. We'll see. At least uh, TC would be happy. Someone's got to be happy, I guess. Those are the breaks, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Half the hap hap happy people, sad people, all concurrently hanging out. All right, good luck, everyone. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. gold out of 50 for Josh. And the autograph is a cubby, Anthony Rizzo. That's a good start. Greg Esfang with the Cubs and the Rizzo. Nice. There you go, big boys, double I appreciate it. Dave's saying he's not in anything because he's on vacation and spent all his PayPal on DoorDash. <laughs> and Connor Scott is your next autograph. Ed Ram, it's one of his last spot mojo teams. And I'll try to hustle through this break a little bit more quickly than usual because guess what, ladies and gentlemen? One person bought five spots in that five box 2018 Dynasty Baseball break. And so that'll be breaking after this. There's a redemption here and a redemption there. Two redemptions in the second mini box. Marty saying, <laughs> "Well, we'll 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 assess that. Uh, we'll we'll uh, we'll judge that after we pull everything out of the box." 2018 autograph green refractor parallel of a and Anthony Siegler for the Yankees. I think that's out of 99, maybe. That is for TC and the Yankees. All right, and behind Willie Adams is 
Another Anthony Sealer for the Yankees. You can start a rainbow, TC. All right, box one in the books. Next one. <laughs> Mark Madsen's like, oh, God. Where was that in last case? I actually kind of agree, Big Boy 007. It's just a, it's just a big, uh, it's just a big price point, you know, for that top dynasty baseball, the per box. But I think, I think we're selling at a pretty decent price compared to what a lot, what a lot of local card shops may have it at, at a per box price. And a lot of times we've seen, we've seen too many cases where it's like one monster hit and then like four solid hits. There have obviously there have been some cases where all five breaks or all five boxes have been pretty solid and everyone's happy, but you know if we get a case that's not like that, then someone would be sitting there going, "Man, I should have just bought the whole case because that one monster card would have paid for the entire." You know what I mean? So. Right, yeah, that's what Marty's saying too. The, the thought is he's hoping for some kind of crazy one of one. I, if you have the means, I think that'd be a, a, a good way to do it. The shipping team would love it too. Just be just one box. Wow, Jeremy S says he saw someone do a personal box of Transcendent. I don't know if I could justify that. There's Jordan Groshans, four out of fifty gold. That's a Blue Jay for Ed Ram's second last spot Mojo team. He's got one more, and they'll have the trifecta. He needs a Pirates autograph. There's a Red Aaron Judge, one out of ten. That's cool. Don't look, Mark Matheson. Another Yankee for uh, TC. There you go, TC. There's Jordan Groshans, purple chrome to 250. And Alec Thomas is your next autograph. Chris Garossi with the snakes. Mark, maybe, maybe, you, should, uh, maybe you should take a quick 20-minute 20, 20 break and then check back in after this break. Another redemption down here. Come on, kids. Sign your cards. Maybe that's the uh, Jaron Kendall that John Samuelson was guessing. There's Evan White. Evan White for the Mariners. That'll be for John Hyanga and the M's. Wait, so Jeremy S, that personal box of Transcendent, what What did that person get? Was it worth it? And behind Ozzy Albius is Mason Denneberg, who I think is for, is that for you, Josh? He is a national. There you go. That's for Josh Reich. That's Yo Josh. No Cardinals yet, Greg, but we only just finished box two, so plenty, plenty of ch opportunities to go. All right, next box. Joe P saying Evan White's a good kid. You see him in the Arizona Fall League? Joe's in Arizona. Greg Dunno, yes, you do have the Cardinals. You have anything else? Do you have the... Oh, no, that's Greg S. Fang. 
You just got one. Yeah, cards. This is break 12. You would think they do have, you would think they have time to sign, Joey. Joey Saldana's like, these kids don't have time to sign? Yeah, Mason. What else are you doing? Playing Fortnite and baseball. Nice, Joe P saying Evan White signed a lot and was very friendly. There, there you go. Wow, the transcendent case. The guy. So Jeremy is saying that the per, that the guy who bought the uh, personal case of transcendent baseball by Tops got a cut auto of the Wright brothers. Nice. That'd be all. Yeah, what is that even worth? I mean, I don't know. Is, is that going to be worth the, you know, 20 some odd thousand dollars for that? I don't know. That's a perfect group breaking product though. Jordan Adams. Maybe we'll do some next year. We pass on it this year. Jordan Adams. Angels. Thomas Reigns with an autograph. J.P. Crawford Atomic. Harrison Bader to 150 for Greg. Maybe we'll find some ink. There's Riley Adams for the Blue Jays. Another one for Ed Ram. Wait, who didn't have a clue who the Wright brothers were? The the person who broke it or the the person who bought it? The person who bought it? Did, he must have been bummed then. I think they're Wright I think they're cool. Reese Hoskins to 250. And Josh Stowers for the M's. Another Mariner for John Hyenga. Um, we do, I think we have one more case of Bowman's Best, but we're probably not going to post that until next week. We're off for the next few days for the New Year's holiday, New Year's weekend. So we're not live, we're not live until, uh, we're not live until the, till next Wednesday. I think shipping team is popping by on Monday to get some of this stuff knocked out, but but as for the live stream, yeah, we're not back until next Wednesday, so I don't think we're gonna post anything tonight. It would just you guys would just be waiting for three nights, so. Hey Siri, I'll bet Jose's never heard that one before. Josh Proust with the Reds, with Jose Siri. John Samson saw the Albert Einstein cut auto pulled. You think that's more than Wright Brothers? Probably. I think Orville was a real a hole. So, it, no, I have no idea. Um, I, I think I think Albert Einstein has a little more pop culture cachet than the Wright Brothers. You st you, st you still see like you see see like Albert Einstein like I saw a commercial with an actor dressed up as Albert Einstein. You know what I mean? So there's a little more pop culture cachet for Mr. Einstein. But Wright Brothers is cool too. I think they're from Ohio. I think I always liked them because I was born in Ohio. They they were. Building and fixing bikes and racing bikes in Ohio, and they're like, "Let's let's build a let's build a flying machine." I went to North Carolina, did their thing there. He told them it was the popcorn guy. That's. Did that not? Did, did, did the person who who did the person who bought it, Jeremy? I don't know if you know any details about this person. Did this person not go to an American elementary school? I feel like 
I feel like I was taught that every year. I feel like it came up once a year in my American public school education. There's Ryan Carl Weathers. That will go to the Padres. That is for Josh Pruce. <laughs> that Otani base might be worth more than any of the other base, though. John Samuelson, if that makes you feel any better. And another Ryan Weathers, 91 out of 99. Ryan Carl Weathers. I think Josh has been looking for this guy for like the last four or five cases. In the last two cases, he's, he's been out of control. Ryan Weathers, when it rains, it pours. Oh, it's all there is, Otani and Ichiro base? Never mind then. <laughs> I guess. There's Brandon Marsh. All right, well then. It'll sell better than the Ichiro base. Maybe. Maybe. So of the two base cards, that's the one you wanted. Um, Brandon Marshall, or Marsh, going to the Angels. That'll be for Thomas Reigns. There's Trey Turner for Josh out of 250. And Mike Soroka to 150 also for Josh. And Jonathan India is your autograph. Nice. Did we go through these already? I think we did. No other parallels, right? Nice Jonathan India for Josh and the Reds. That's pretty strong. All right, we are halfway through this eight box break, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. 16 autographs to go, so still plenty of autos to go. Were they were they a little beat up this year too, Big Boys 007? Would I, would I pay over $20,000 for a Wright Brothers cut auto? I feel like I can just buy that on the bay when, when that guy sells it as the popcorn guy and get it at a good price. Joey's opinion, Transcendence overrated. I mean, it, listen, it's cool. It, it looks really cool. It depends on like how you approach it from a hobby perspective. You know what I mean? Like, if you're buying your, if you're buying, you know, the briefcase yourself or the case yourself, I, I don't know. Even if I have the money, I may hesitate. As a group breaking product, I think it's rated pretty nicely. I think we, we got a, we configured it, when, when we did a couple of years ago, I think we configured it nicely where, where we had, it was the year where there was a, the big sleeve of base cards and then the big sleeve of sketch card reproductions. We sold it in such a way that we just had the sealed base cards or sketch, re, sketch card reproductions. We kept those sealed and we sold it like that. And um, it, instead of kind of doing like, Eight million spots at like a hundred bucks a spot. You know, we trimmed down the spots, made the spot cost a little bit higher, and I think a lot of people were really happy with how with that with the way the that break turned out. Early, but it's it's all in kind of how you configure it. You know, so I mean, yeah. And the other thing is, listen, he's got the invitation for the Mike Trout signing party. There's forty out of fifty early indication. Jesus Lazardo for the A's. It's a nice one for Oakland. Scott V. 
So, I mean, listen, but if you've got the money and you're just like, you're like, hey, I want to go meet Mike Trout in Vegas or wherever they're doing the party or Arizona or whatever, you know, and get his autograph and be part of that event. There's no other way to do it. So, I mean, you're kind of paying for the experience of it. You know what I mean? Not necessarily the, the, the resale. So it's just for pure, pure collecting. You know what I mean? There's Josh Naylor. Nope. Noah Naylor. <laughs> Indians. That'll be for Chris Garosi. So I think that's where, that's where you can definitely, like, yeah, the party with Hank Aaron. You know, like, if, I, if I'm like a, a, a brave super fan, Hank Aaron super fan, you know, there are not too many opportunities for me to, like, be in a, a small room with that kind of legend. You know, if I had the money, maybe I'd do it. Connor Scott for the Marlins. It's another one for Ed. So now if you're looking at it from a, hey, I want to I want to buy and resell. You know, maybe it's not, maybe there are, are better products that you can find for that. But for the, just the pure entertainment value of Transcendent and just the, just kind of like the awe factor, I think it's still pretty cool. Still nice stuff in there. I kind of wish they... It would have done like every other year or something like that, but people are buying it, so. Christian Villanueva. That's true, yeah. The party gives out a lot of autos, too. You know, all this for stuff. Christian Villanueva. Um, for the Padres, Josh Bruce. So, yeah, the experience would be pretty cool, you know, so. I think that's what you're kind of paying for. If you if you think of it as like a Bowman best break or a draft break where you're like, okay, I could buy this team, you know, get this nice auto, maybe grade it and flip it for this. If it's like that, I don't I don't know if that's the way to approach that that uh, that product. But Smitty, what's going on, man? So the Bowman draft mixer is at three. Excellent. So I think we're pretty much uh, full for the night, ladies and gentlemen. I guess I could do best of football. That doesn't take too long. I can squeeze that in at the end too. But I think by the time we do this break, uh, Marty's uh, Dynasty case, and then we do the Bowman, the two box Bowman draft break and give away a box of Dynasty. Um, then, uh, then I could probably do best of football too. We can squeeze that in. That's a very short break. But otherwise, everything else will have to be pushed till the new year. I'm afraid. Trust me, just go to the website, jaspiescasebreaks.com. Or the website's right above my head, too. Type that in. John Tanner said, my wife and I are just talking about this. You could see new kids on the block for a thousand and hang out with them on tour. Right, a lot of people can live out their teen dream that way. This is true, yeah. I mean, that it's in the entertainment world, that is something that's been very... That's been happening for a long time. You know what I mean? People, you know, listen, you can you can pay. Some people might be like, why would I pay twenty thousand dollars for, you know, a, a transcendent product? You know what I mean? But if you have the money, you're gonna get, use it for that just for the experience of it, right? They do that with like the Rolling Stones. You know, you can pay ten thousand dollars or whatever a ticket, and you know, Rolling Stones and. Go see them and do the meet and greet and sit in the front row and and you got the whole the whole package together you know and then backstage passes and blah 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 it's 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 a big thing it's a big money generator for bands that are on tour and stuff especially the especially the classic rock guys. There's Fernando Romero rookie auto for the Twins that'll be for Jerry Bennington. I mean, frankly, there's six, uh, Cito Sanchez, or Sixto Sanchez, Cito Sanchez to 50. We're seeing a lot of this. Like, people, kids aren't buying, like, CDs anymore, but they will buy, like, the, the $80 vinyl booklet, this, that set. You know what I mean? Like, the special edition set. Record, you know, 12-inch vinyl on 80-gram whatever, and almost missed this autograph. Mackenzie Gore 
out of 100. Nice. That goes to Josh Proust and the Padres. Padres have a really great young farm system coming up. Um, when I go to uh, Coachella, there'll be like, you know, like a huge multi-thousand dollar package where you you can like rent a cabana on the grounds of the concert and, you know, blah, 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 and VIP this and that. There's Ryan Rollison for the Rockies, Joey Saldana on the board. Not Colton Welker, but a hit nonetheless. So when, when Topps releases a product like that, it's not super surprising because it's like, a lot of things have been kind of trending that that way. There's Andrew McCutcheon and Shane McClanahan. Could he... Shane McClanahan that sounds that sounds like a good uh, good Irish bar. Shane Mc... McClanahan's. Meet me at McClanahan's, you guys. Beers on me at McClanahan's. You know, beer, beers and Jameson on me. All right, Smitty, thank you. Happy New Year to you, too. All right, perfect, folks. So, well, now let's fill up the Leaf Best of Football. We'll do this. We'll do Marty's Five Boxes of Dynasty. And then we'll... Uh, We'll knock out the, what was filled after that? <laughs> oh, the, the two box break of Bowman Draft. And then, you know, which is like a 20 minute break and then like a 10 minute break. Um, leave best of football is like a 10 minute break. Like the randomizer takes longer than the break. <laughs> I know, Michael, sorry about that. I'll, uh, they, mu they must have packed that product before all that went down. Yep, and then we'll call it 2018. As far as live breaks, live group breaks are concerned, it's in the books. We're not back until the new year, Wednesday. So we'll be off on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday, back on Wednesday, and it'll be the new year by then. So those will, those will be the breaks, folks. Everything else will be pushed to Wednesday. And then we're back on our normal seven-night-a-week schedule. So then I'll go Wednesday through Saturday. Nick Jaspi will go Sunday, Monday. Then I'll do Tuesday through Saturday, et cetera, et cetera. And I don't think uh, I don't think we're taking. There's no significant holidays or no significant vacations or anything like that coming up for any of us. There's Alec Baum to 150 for the Phillies. Paul Cool Whit. There's a nice Helio Ramos for the Gigantes. That goes to Jess Fox and the Giants. All right, Mark Matheson. I'll see you next year. Happy New Year. Be good. Be safe. And Ethan Hankins for the Tribe. And that goes to Jerry Bennington. No, Joe, you don't. You don't like. You don't like Jameson. It's your kryptonite. Jameson's pretty, pretty delicious. Jameson commercial on right now. I'm gonna have to pick up a uh, a seven fifty on the way home. Brady Singer. Nice Brady Singer for the Royals. Karen Steele. No, Black Gold will do next year, Joe P. Joey Votto Atomic. I love these Atomics. And Matt Libator. Okay. Mark Madison with tips. I like tips. You want me to make a financial a small financial investment in Georgia for the Sugar Bowl? They'll smoke Texas. Yeah, my Georgia buddies will be disappointed if I don't, so... 
I'll take a position on, on, on Georgia. I'm okay with that. All right, so there are your four autographs there. If it was any other night, Joe P., I probably would. Not tonight, though. Yeah, <laughs> Whiskey Joe Rides Again. Can I... I kind of want a t-shirt, Whiskey Joe Rides Again. I feel like I'd have to get a, uh, a, a Harley. I, don't know, I drive by a Harley dealership every day. I'm like, hmm, can I, can I get a, a Harley Davidson motorcycle that would fit my stature? <laughs> And I'll have a have an old shirt, a faded black T-shirt, white print that says "Whiskey Joe Rides Again." Have more, hey, uh, more Vespa guy. Come on, John Samson. You don't think anything I pull off? I don't think I can pull off Harley. I'm not a Harley guy. I don't think I'll be Harley guy. I, I, I've considered a Vespa, but I'm just like, oh, that's even that's that's a little that's a little too hipstery metro even for me. <laughs> All right, there's power producer Shoyo Tani. Maybe may, I could be a Triumph guy. What about uh? What about uh, Triumph has some pretty good motorcycles, you know, nice British motorcycles that I can that I can pick up. Nice, there you go, Marty. See, just hang, just kick back. We'll get to your dynasty. We'll put you some monsters. So Jordan Alvarez, Strohs, Karen Steele with that one. Daniel Lynch for Karen and the Royals. Karen and KC. Yeah, big boys double the seven. I can't, I can't come visit you in Northern California on a Vespa, right? <laughs> John Sampson cruising around the Third Street Promenade on a Vespa. Yeah, I don't know if. Listen, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident in, 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 in my man. There's Colton Welker, Joey Saldana. We did it. Last box, second to last auto. It's for Joey Saldana, the Rockies. Um, like, I'm pretty confident in my, in my masculinity, you know. So, you know. So it's not like that. It's not an issue like that. I don't. I just. I don't know if I could do that. It might be. That might be the line. Now I would get a I would get a Triumph motorcycle with a sidecar, right? And maybe with a sidecar and maybe put maybe put that pug in the sidecar with with uh with old uh, goggles. How about that? Get one of those. And there's Logan Gilbert to close things out. John Hyanga with a nice Mariners hit right there. That's their main guy, I think. I could be a 1950s cartoon villain. I'd have like a, a scarf unfurling in the wind on my on my Triumph with a sidecar. I can do that. Maybe grow out a villain style mustache. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how we got on this road, but that was Bowman's best baseball. Pick your team number 12. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. No randomizer. No, nothing. Thank you, everybody. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.